Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month. Right out of the gate, we are moving towards a full moon, which will perfect right around the second of the month. And this full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, and is speaking in harmony with Uranus. Now, this is a part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin and where it is that you are considering changes or wanting an evolution in terms of your living space. Well, it is going to be this energy that helps you in that regard. Anything from buying, selling, moving, or a new roommate, with Uranus involved, changes can come about very quickly and very much to your surprise. But remember, this is a harmonious connection. So it does look like you are enlivened by the changes and they are transformations that you like very much. This may be a surprise opportunity or a surprise win where it comes to a bid that you have put in as well. It may be more aesthetic, whether it is that you're looking to make changes where it comes to how you actually experience the home that you are in. Well, it is gonna be Uranus that will have you feeling very inspired very quickly to help you to make that change. If it is that you work from home or with homes, then this full moon does represent an especially fulfilling and busy period where you may find that there is an abundance of opportunity available to you. This part of the sky also connects to your family of origin and your parents in particular. It may have been that there is an ongoing matter uh, in that regards that now could come to an end very quickly and very much by delight. So if you are looking for very quick progress on those fronts, then it is going to be this full moon that can help you tremendously in that regard. If you were looking for clarity so that you could actually be part of empowering your family of origin, it is again going to be this full moon that does help you. As we navigate further into the month, right around the 17th of September is when we will have this month's new moon. And this new moon is taking place at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, and life purpose. It has to do with your understanding of how to align with a higher, more loving vision for your life. And new moons bring with them new opportunities. There are beautiful alignments taking place with Pluto and Saturn and this new moon, supremely harmonious ones which do suggest some power move that you are making now helps you to create long-term stability. It may be a brand new career opportunity. It may be a promotion, but in some way you are feeling strong. And I would even say with this energy, you may feel if there is an interview or audition situation that you knock that out of the park, especially if it takes place in the days surrounding this new moon. What I also really love about this energy though for you is that you're able to cultivate focus and understand the bigger picture. And it is gonna be at this time that as you get clear on your life purpose, it may be that opportunities present themselves to you that have the potential to last and to change your life in tangible ways for a very long time to come. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we have a few things happening here. One is Mars. On the 9th of September, Mars is going to go retrograde and will be retrograde right to the middle of November. I did speak all about the Mars retrograde season in the retrograde special horoscope, so I will link to that in the description below. But I do want you to keep in mind with this that this is in a part of the sky that has to do with romance and flirtation. And it may very well be the case that you find a very powerful moment transpires, especially in the days right around Mars changing direction. We are also going to have Venus on the move as well about a week into the month. Venus is going to move into another fire sign, fellow fire sign Leo. 
And this is a decidedly worldly part of the sky, which tends to bring international love into the mix. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, nature, you are watching those days around the changing of direction where it comes to what is happening with Mars. It could be a very powerful flirtation does take place for you. It may be given where Venus is going, that this person is very different than you have known before. And it, is that the flirtation has a very strong physical component. So there's a powerful, almost physical attraction to this person as well. Now, because Mars is going retrograde, it may be the case that it's not necessarily something you can talk about with other people, or it may also be the case that after a moment, it feels like there isn't necessarily a whole lot of traction right away. That really is okay. Regardless of what happens, it is a important moment for you that helps you to appreciate that there are options available to you in the context of love. If it is that you are just starting to date somebody, this can be a powerful time as well. I think of Mars as connecting to a moment of truth, and it is going to be Mars changing directions. That's going to invite you to consider the truth about this person and the truth about what you really feel about them. And then that in turn will lend itself to a deeper contemplation as to your own motivations for wanting to get to know them. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I do think that the Venusian energy is gonna end up playing a larger role in that case. As much as Mars energy can be quite passionate, it is gonna be the case that with Venus, it may be that you find either your partner or you going on a little bit of a spiritual exploration and wondering how the two of you are able to either stay connected or stay communicating with each other through it. This seems especially uh, an important question right around the very middle of the month. That is when Venus is going to connect with Uranus in a conversation of tension. Not the easiest moment. I would say anything to do with politics or religion, don't talk about that, not with your partner, uh, not with anybody, but certainly not your partner right in the middle of the month because it does look like it could lend itself to a very powerful uh, reactions that weren't necessarily anticipated that can leave uh, bittersweet feelings afterwards. But for all that, this can also be energy that indicates wanting an adventure together and where it is that the two of you are planning for that, it can solidify the bond. What I love about this month for you, well look, in addition to the things that I mentioned, mid-month Jupiter is going to go direct. Late in the month, Saturn is going to go direct. And when we have big power players like this changing directions, it tends to denote momentum and movement. It is going to be the part of the sky that has to do with what is happening financially in terms of money you earn and money that you spend that is going to feel like it finally moves forward. It is finally able to gain traction. And that should bring you some ease, some support. At the same time though, it is going to be the overall theme of this month that what is happening in terms of your higher vision and what is happening at home, well, these are gonna be spaces of change and blessings. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.